Welcome back to the show. Now, our comedy guest tonight was named the 2005 All Comedy Radio Funniest Person in Kansas City and was a finalist in the National Maxim Magazine Budweiser Real Men of Comedy. Competition, you can get them all over on Sirius Satellite Radio. Put your hands together for Brad Meehan. Kansas, what's up? Wow. We got the Royals. I love going to the games. But I hate the bathrooms because I have this strange fear of public restrooms. And at the stadium, they got this big white porcelain trough going from one end of the men's room to the next. Forget that, man. I ain't sitting in that thing. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about me. I'm a horrible speller. I mean, I've always been a horrible speller, but now I think the spell checker on my computer is getting frustrated because <laughs> my poor spelling skills. Because the other day I was trying to type the word diploma, and I must have spelled it wrong because right away the spell checker popped up and it was like, hey, don't you mean GED? <laughs> It wasn't always like that, though, you know? It wasn't always that passive-aggressive towards me. When I first got it, it was cool, because I'd start typing a letter, and it would go, hey, looks like you're typing a letter. Perhaps I can help. <laughs> and it would format the letter for me. Now, whenever I get my computer to start typing, it's like, oh, looks like you're typing a letter. Perhaps you'd rather play solitaire. <laughs> Here's some porn to distract you. Needless to say, I didn't have a lot of options coming out of high school because I got bad grades. Plus, I had very unrealistic goals. When I was little, I told my mom I wanted to be the tooth fairy. That'd be a cool job, right? But I wouldn't put money under the pillow because that's bad business. I'd put stuff under the pillow to promote tooth loss, like candy or crack or NASCAR tickets. That's right. I'm always thinking. Sometimes I don't think, and I'll do something stupid, like I'll try to get myself out of embarrassing situations. Like, you ever go in the store to buy something embarrassing and to make it less embarrassing? You know, you just get a bunch of other stuff to go with it, try to hide it. But then you get to the counter, and the lady's looking at you like you're some sort of freak. You look down, you realize you just got a bunch of stuff that should probably never, ever go together, right? Like you're standing there with a box of condoms, some Vaseline, <laughs> and a frozen turkey. <laughs> what do you say to that? How do you talk your way out of Trojans in a butterball? I think it's hard to find that perfect match for you, don't you, don't you think? Like, that's why I feel sorry for that guy in that show, The Bachelor. You watch that show? There's this one guy, and he's got to choose one of 25 gorgeous women. I think it's hard to pick just one, don't you think? Like, I bet it's like if someone were to offer you just one piece of candy from their box of chocolates. It's like they all look so good on the outside, but how do you really know what you're getting on the inside? <laughs> Gotta poke them with your finger. <laughs> huh? <laughs> poke, 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 How do you tell? I mean, you'd hate to just get it in your mouth and find out you got the one with the nuts. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. That's great. Awesome. Brad me and everybody. We'll be right back with musical guest Casey Todd. This is After Hours.